Bismillah Araman Arahim. This video I am going show. How to use demo software with single board. Using multiple boards will be topic of next video. Current board will connect to solar inverter. And act as web server. Let's look at the serial monitor. This is optional, just to get in-depth understanding. Though we can connect directly with web page. Let's open Arduino IDE. And open serial monitor. Let's reset board for fresh look. After reset you will see similar lines. Let me stop the auto scroll. Let's start noticing. There's a solar. 3 is 1 to 8 numbers. Then there is an IP address. MDNS that is name server, sit. And there's a MAC address. And lastly reading from solar inverter. So this was optional COM port view. You will need PC connection for this. Though device can work without PC. You can see output on your mobile phone too. You should notice two important items. IP and MAC addresses. You can work without IP address. But knowing is important if debugging issues. The MAC address is ID of your device. So this is very important. Especially for registering and getting final software. And when we are using two boards, one for inverter data reading and other for web page hosting. Two devices help when inverter is installed at distance. Let's continue with main topic. Forget serial monitor for now. First thing you need to do is to connect with ESP32 Wi-Fi. Search for SIT test Wi-Fi. Once found password is 123.45678. Where is my network and settings? I have to look for available networks. This is taking time. OK let's enter the key. 12345678. It's connected now. Let's go to web browser. And type sit slash. Or you can type this. HTTP column slash slash set slash. You will reach this page. OK let's try to understand this page. This is displaying device MAC address. This is same as we saw on serial monitor. If your board is connected with solar inverter, you will see these red numbers. Total output in watts. Battery charge in percentage. 
Solar input in DC volts. Grid input in AC volts. This shows device is properly connected with inverter. Looking at setting section. You will notice Wi-Fi option. This is used to connect with your home router. We will come back to this. Moving to next setting. You can enter MAC address of other ESP32. Likewise. Services will be selected when working with two ESP32. In addition, we have restart option, factory reset option, device registration with SID and OTA update. OTA update is for future updates. Updates without use of PC. It will be used to update device with final software. Let's try few options. Let's restart. Let's open Serial Montier. And click on Restart. You will notice device is restarted. If I press factory reset, device will restart but all settings will also reset. Like router or other device settings. Let's click on it this too. Device has restarted. This is simple, seems no need for more details. Let's connect device ESP32 with home router. We can settings to connect with existing Wi-Fi. I have created Wi-Fi for demo. Its name is home Wi-Fi. Let's enter password. Click on the save end. Notice changes appearing in serial monitor. This means changes have been saved. Now we need to restart device. You should notice changed IP address. And Wi-Fi name in serial monitor. New IP is 192.1.643.247. My PC is not connected to home Wi-Fi. Once PC is connected to home Wi-Fi, you can use this IP address or sit slash to connect with ESP32 web server. Show me available networks. So this is home Wi-Fi let me connect to it. Password. Now PC is also connected. Let's try sit slash. At times ESP32 name domain manager gets slow. I also notice at times it going to sleep mode. Let's see if this works. Yes I have got my numbers back. So I can access this device. Throughout my home network. I think this good enough for this video. In the next video. We will use two ESP32.